Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a spider. Start by centering your shirt using the sleeve inside the other sleeve technique. As I was centering my shirt and lining up the seams inside the sleeve, I noticed all of these holes. And I ordered these shirts a long time ago from Jiffy, so there's nothing I can do about it. I decided to just keep going and make the shirt anyways, cause I'll figure out somebody that wears a size medium, probably my nephew, and I'll just give the shirt to them and they can wear it till the sleeve falls off. Once you have your shirt centered and it's all smoothed out, you want to decide where you want the center of your spider to be. And I like to come down about an inch underneath the underarm. You don't want it too close up to the collar and you don't want to put it right on top of the belly button. And then you just give it a little pinch and you spiral it up. For this one, I'm going to use a splatter guard. I just wanted to try it on a spider. I haven't used it yet. And it worked out really good. You don't have to use this microwave splatter guard, but if you want to and you don't have it already, I have a link for it down below in the description box. So go ahead and check that out. Now that it's all spiraled up, it's time to secure it. And I prefer to use rubber bands, but you could also use kite string. It really is just a matter of preference. Now it's time for the fun part, we get to add the dye. And this is going to be a Halloween spider, so it's going to be orange and black. And I started with a raven black. And I'm saturating it about halfway down through the folds. And you'll see me periodically check down. And I see some white and I'll add a little bit more, but I'm just going to let this play out and you guys can watch how I do it.
I just want to remind you guys that I have this sped up for the sake of time. I am not going this quick. When I do my dye, I add it really slow and quite methodically. So something to keep in mind, you don't need to go crazy and you don't need to be fast about it. I decided to do the batching the microwave method. So it's basically the two minute tie dye and I have a tutorial on that. So I stuck the shirt inside the container for my tulip kit, the two minute tie dye kit. And I set my microwave for three minutes because my microwave is old so it takes an extra minute. And then I let it rest for about an hour and then we're gonna rinse it out. So the shirt cooled down for about an hour and now it's time for the rinse out. So you want to start by using cold water and that's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fibers and then gradually increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here I take it to the washing machine and I do a plain hot water cycle. Then I do a second hot water cycle using Kirilon, and that's a textile detergent from Dharma. And I do a third hot water cycle using Millsoft, which brings softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. And I also get that from Dharma. And I have links for everything that I use down below in the description box, so go ahead and check that out. Well, here it is guys. Here's our Halloween spider after it's been washed and dried and I think it turned out great. There is a little bit of white and I wish there wasn't white, but that's okay. I don't mind it that much. Overall, I'm very pleased with the way it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and then click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.